chapters close, but not the book itself. I love that. Charlotte Deleste is here to tell us how this relates to our top-notch teacher. Hi, Charlotte. Uh, hi, Susan and Mark. You know, for a Janesville woman, many of her chapters involve a grade school, a very special one that she spent a lot of time in. In fact, a lot longer than you might suspect. Kathy Ellis has spent a lot of time in this classroom hearing a lot of stories. And it's not just stories from a book. You hear a lot and you take it in and you some of it you believe and some of it you don't. And um, but more it's listening to them because most more often than not they just want somebody to, to share their news with or um, or share what they're excited about or even when they're making something up they want. They want you just to listen to them. After more than three decades teaching here at St. William Catholic School in Janesville, she knows how important it is to listen to her first graders. The children will always be children. I think children are more outspoken or more vocal than they were, you know, in, in the past. There's, Mrs. Uh, Ellis also understands the importance of making memories. For at least the last eight years, she's made scrapbooks for every student she's taught each page filled with a story, a memory made in the first grade. Because as a mom looking back, um, I had a box that I put stuff in, but I probably never, it's still, it's still in a box someplace. But I thought, well, that would be fun just to go back and look through your own stuff and say, oh my gosh, this is what I wrote in first grade. This year, though, will be her last year making those books for her kids. After 32 years of teaching, not including the time she spent attending school here as a little girl in this very same classroom, Mrs. Ellis is starting a new chapter in her life. I have lots of things that I'd like to do, and... And I'm going to miss having the kids. Now my challenge is to keep my find something else that could keep me as young as these kids have done. So she admits there hasn't been a dull moment. There's always something new. There's, it never gets boring. It never gets tedious because they're, it's, the kids are never the same. And that's something that she didn't learn through the written word. I think what you've learned in your books is great and wonderful, but I think you really, your education starts the day you walk into a classroom. An education filled with endless stories, rich relationships, and lasting memories from doing something with love. I think it's been a gift to me. Congratulations, Mrs. Ellis, and I hope you have a blast writing the next chapter. If you know of a te top match teacher, especially someone who's teaching this summer, please nominate them at channel3000.com. So she went to school there. That room that she's teaching in was her first grade That's room amazing. when she was a little girl. She has four children of her own all went to school there and she ended <laughs> up teaching like one or two of them and then she has eight grandchildren, two of which she also taught. Whoa, talk about the end so. of an era. I love the scrapbook. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah, the first year she said she only had like 12 students, and then this is the most she's had is 27 oh, students. So it a fluctuates lot of work. every year, but she loves doing that. So that's a great idea. Yeah. Best of luck in retirement. Kathy, mm -hmm. congratulations. All right. Thanks, Charlotte. There is more to come here on Live at Four. There is. Oh, yes, where's the tie? <laughs> Something to do with this blue tie. <laughs> what are you grabbing? <laughs>